Okay then guys, what's going on? Cloud Plays here and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we're inside of Hogwarts Legacy and we've got all sorts of new news including the ceremony of the sorting hat and some details involved in that that you may not have known about. We've also learned about news with the Patronus and we've also got a breakdown of the fan club website. We've got a load of information with regards to transmog, companions, and we've also got more news on the difficulty system. So with that being said, if you haven't already, make sure you smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. Also, once we hit 50,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away an Xbox Series S plus a game of your choice. And if you want to get involved with that, all you have to do is head down to the description, drop me a follow on either Instagram or Twitter, and then make sure you're a subscriber on this channel and leave a comment in the comment section of your username and the platform that you followed me on. With that being said, let's dive on in to the news in Hogwarts Legacy today. So starting off with the ceremony of the Sorting Hat. Now thanks to an update on the FAQs on the Harry Potter website, whilst our Sorted House will be chosen for us in game, a lot like the movie, we'll also be able to select our house before the end of the ceremony does happen. A lot like when Harry did and he chanted not Slytherin, not Slytherin, not Slytherin during the process meant that he was actually able to alter his house to Gryffindor but we're also going to be able to make sure that we've got two decisions so obviously there is a bit at the beginning where we are going to be able to pick our preference in in a house that we want to join then the sorting hat is actually going to pick a house for us and then just before the ceremony ends it's going to give you the option to override it and pick a house of your own choice me myself I'm going for Ravenclaw I like the aesthetics in the common rooms in the clothing looks absolutely amazing I'm a Ravenclaw through and through by the looks of it and I didn't even know it but that's what I'm going for let me know in the comment section what you guys are going to be going for when it comes to your house of choice we've also learned that there will be no Patronus mechanic in game and these won't carry over from the fan account that you may have done quite a little while ago and I'm personally a little bit gutted about this I really liked the idea of actually having an importation of your own Patronus now let me know what you guys did when you did the quiz on the fan account and if you haven't then there's a video top right of the screen right now an annotation to show you guys exactly how you guys can do it and actually be able to import your house and your wand choice into the game. This is something which I was a little bit gutted about because I think the Patronus mechanic would have been absolutely tremendous. And although some of us did get some absolute rubbish ones, I think I got a Kingfisher or something stupid like that. This is something that would have been a nice mechanic that would have given us a bit more of an identity breakdown and everyone would have had something different. You may not have always loved the one you had, but at least it was different to somebody else's. Now, while we're talking about the fan club itself, the fan club website actually also has a breakdown on how you'll be able to obtain the fan club rewards in game which is the robes and the mask now this also includes includes a huge tease to the transmog system which is absolutely amazing but the loot will be in our inventory after our first day at hogwarts after the prologue once we obtain the field guide now we're going to need the field guide because that's exactly where the gear tab is and that's where you guys are going to be able to obtain your gear whilst we're talking about that we'll be able to get transmog and not only will we be able to have transmog Transmog, we'll be getting transmog quite early on by simply looking like it by pressing a button to access the change appearance screen by the looks of it it'll be able to change all of our gear simply as we obtain the skins and stuff throughout the game and obviously as we get pre-order bonuses and all this sort of stuff you'll just be able to make those alterations at the click of a button the transmog system is absolutely huge and is something which will probably open up to give the game a lot more variety as well and a lot more combinations a lot more individuality i know this is a single player game Game and not a multiplayer game but if you don't think that content is going to be spiraling around the internet you have got no idea so the customization options inside of that as well as your main customization character options is going to mean that there should be no really two characters that look the same inside of this game anywhere but while we're, we're talking about characters we've also got some news on companions and companions are actually a lot more useful than we thought not just the npcs that we know such as students and stuff we can actually make students our friends now thanks to the faq section we've actually had confirmation that we can grow relationships with these people and expand their abilities open up new storylines which is absolutely huge because by befriending somebody and actually opening up a little bit more of a relationship with them would 
mean that we'd be able to open up whole new areas of the game and gain new side quests and new items that we may not have gained otherwise. So make sure that you actually befriend as many people as you can and this is going to expand the game at probably at the maximum level that you possibly can and give you so many more opportunities for side quests items you may not have otherwise got. And we've also got some news on the difficulty system. Now we do already know that during the character customization screen you'll actually have the choice of four different difficulties that you can choose from. Now what this will do though is have a massive effect on your combat and puzzle difficulties. What we mean by that is say we go for the base difficulties as in storyline difficulties mini games that involve specific moves specific movements specific spells specific things that you need to do will not fail but if we go into the harder end scale and go for the hardest difficulty in the game you are going to find that you can fail these specific moves and it's going to be extremely difficult and really precise on you actually having to do them to be able to successfully get past that mini game and also on top of that puzzles are going to have time caps on them so what this does mean is obviously in the lower levels of the difficulties puzzles will not have time to complete as you select harder ones you will obviously gain bigger restrictions such as completion times and stuff like that there's actually a lot a lot that's coming out about this game at the moment and with the marketing getting ramped up over the next couple of weeks we get closer to the release date with just under a month left before the game actually launches there's so much I'm excited about with this and so much news that's coming out and for a game that's had so much negative publicity over the last year the positive spin on this is absolutely mental so let's make sure that we keep it going by giving this video a beautiful blue thumbs up and let me know in the comment section some of the bigger pieces that you are more excited about from this video inside of hogwarts legacy itself thank you so much again for watching guys if you haven't already make sure you smash the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on and make sure you get involved with today's giveaway we are going to be doing some live streams at the launch of Hogwarts Legacy and that is going to be here on the channel so that make sure that you guys do not miss it. This game is oh so growing and there is so much on a day to day that we are tending to find that is getting leaked out into the FAQs, it leaked out into the Reddit. I'll make sure I leave a little catalog in the description for you guys so you've got a load of areas that you can browse through day to day and get a load more information or get involved in some of the conversations with other witches and wizards inside of the community. Me, myself, mad excited. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments section. And as far as all of this stuff goes from today's news videos, I'm actually probably more excited about the companion idea more than absolutely anything, knowing that we can actually grow relationships with random people and expand the game by gaining extra storylines, plus expand their abilities a lot like they did in God of War Ragnarok, where you were actually able to boost up the statistics and give side abilities to Atreus. This is going to be the same sort of concept inside of this game. So I'm really excited to kind of think what it is that we're going to be able to do with this and for me personally this is going to be a huge rendition into the open world cycle and the more that we find out and the more that we get closer to the day by day release the more i start to think actually that this game is genuinely going to last an absolute lifetime thank you so much again for watching guys appreciate all your faces like subscribe and as always up until the next time i'll see you in the clouds